welcome back to my channel guys and thank you for stopping by as always today we are going to be making rasta pasta but not just any rasta pasta this is the cracked code to footprints rasta pasta all right so if you've ever been to new york or you're from here you know so we're just going to jump right in seasoning our chicken here we're going to be making some jerk chicken tenderloins as well as some salmon. You guys can pretty much cook rasta pasta and top it with anything that you would like. But today I'm making chicken and salmon. So um, you'll see that I put up all the seasonings that I used to um, do this and gave you guys a really good view of how much seasoning I use on my food. You guys are going to have to do this to taste. But y'all know on this channel we like spice and garlic so there will be that in abundance as well as all the other yumminess that we need to put this together now green seasoning guys is something that i always have in my house if you don't then you'll want to buy green seasoning from your local market or find a recipe on how to make your own ours is homemade um maybe one day we'll get a video going on that as well um one thing to note here with the salmon guys Take into account that salmon and any other seafoods are much more delicate than things like chicken or beef. So you always adjust how much seasoning you're going to put on there. And um, it will always be less than it would be those other sorts of meats. And then I'm going to set this aside to marinate overnight. Um, but you guys can do this. If you don't have time to do it overnight, then I would suggest doing it for at least an hour before cooking. And then I'm just going to go ahead and begin grilling my chicken. Now I have this on like a medium high heat, and then I'm going to go ahead and move over and begin my sauce. So as you can see there, I just have some, um, you know, thinly chopped up into slices, red, green, and yellow peppers. And I'm just going to Go ahead and begin sauteing that in some vegetable oil. And as that's sauteing, I'm going to go ahead and look back over at my chicken. And you guys see there, I was zooming in to show you the pink on the chicken. That's letting me know, um, sort of showing me there that the chicken is not cooked in that area. And that white area surrounding is showing where the chicken has began cooking. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and get that turned over. And that's how it'll look. And then I'm just going to go ahead and move this over. Now, listen, call the National Guard if you must. But I am just going to move my chicken over and I am going to add my salmon to my grill, uh, to my griddle. You guys can do this however you please. If you want to get yourself a separate pan, wash this pan. Listen, it's your kitchen and this kitchen is mine. So that's exactly why I'm doing it this way. OK. So I've added my salmon to my pan and I'm just going to go ahead and give that time to grill and cook on one side. Note that the salmon will not take as long as the chicken. And also, guys, I have this heat turned down pretty low now because I don't want my chicken to be overcooked and dry either. That's not cute and it don't taste nice. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other two pieces of salmon and then I'm going to move over and work on my sauce. Now that my peppers are cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add in this pint here of heavy cream. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give this a stir. And as you see, it comes up to a simmer. I will then go ahead and add in two cups of mozzarella cheese here, which you guys saw me doing in the beginning of this clip. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir this in and just pay attention closely, guys, to the consistency here so you can understand what to do with your rasta pasta. All right. As you see now, as we have this uh, simmering on a medium heat, you can see our sauce is thickened up. And now I'm ready to go ahead and season my sauce and take it from just any old ordinary cream sauce to our rasta pasta sauce okay not just rasta pasta but our footprints our knockoff footprints rasta pasta <laughs> so i added in my teaspoon of jerk seasoning because you don't want to overdo it guys like do not overdo your don't overdo the jerk i added some garlic powder as well as now a packet of sassone yes stick with me don't ask me no questions i'm telling you do as i say and not what your brain is questioning you to question me to do okay so let's go ahead and get that all mixed up now the color looks a little off just because the lighting from the camera but um you'll see there i tried to turn the light off so you guys can see like the true color y'all if you've been to footprints you know i'm hitting it on the head okay like 
it's be and then taste it. Make this. Make sure you guys cook this at home. I have my pasta cooking off on the side, and now our sauce is completely finished. Um, we've let that simmer and thicken up. And guys, you'll see my pasta is very stuck together because I do not add any water to my pasta when I drain it. I want my pasta sauce to stick. That's a little tip for your back pocket when you're making any pasta. Water will, um, you know, take off the texture of the pasta. The pasta, the pasta when it's finished boiling. And if you do not drain and put water, excuse me, rinse your pasta with water, then the sauce of whatever pasta you're making will stick to your noodle better. So that's what you see me do in here and then we're gonna go ahead and simmer this on a very low heat and that's completed and when our jerk chicken and salmon is done we're gonna add just a little barbecue sauce on there and let that get cooked down on there like a nice little glaze and then we're gonna go ahead and get this plated just slicing these tenderloins in half which again this is all footprint style as you can see here and now i'm just going to go ahead and add this on top of my pasta i sprinkled a little parsley just because it looks nice it don't taste like nothing <laughs> And that's it for our Rasta Pasta, guys. It's that simple, that easy, and it's going to be so delicious. Let me know down in the comments how it worked out for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit a like. Maybe share it with your favorite person. And I will see you guys next time. As always, thanks for stopping. Bye!